This lesson is on writing conclusions, um, especially a conclusion to an essay. So a conclusion is the last paragraph of your essay you should wrap everything up. You should not introduce new ideas into your conclusion. So um, there are uh, more ways than this, but when you are comparing texts, which is what we're doing, we're comparing two myths, then um, these uh, two methods uh, uh, tend to be the most straightforward ways to organize a conclusion. So you can focus on the similarities between the, the different stories that you've read or you can focus on the differences with relation to the lesson and how the lesson was um, presented to the reader. So you can start by stating how the text and the lessons are similar if you're going to focus on similarities. What are the common elements? in the themes point of view or characters. So this is just in general because you don't know what your question, future questions could be on, right? This one is on the lessons and characters, but whatever it is that you're focused on, you want to focus on how the two stories were similar. And then specifically talk about how uh, the authors maybe use similar techniques. So it, did they use foreshadowing, drama, humor, character changes, obviously they did in this one, or consequences to the character, right? And then write a clincher. So if we look at the example, okay, this first one is similarities. Um, you want to start by mentioning both the myths again um, and that you're going to focus on the similarities. So both title of the myth and title of the myth have similar lessons, okay? Um, and then this would be an example. So you're going to talk about how they were similar. In both myths, the characters are given instructions. Following the instructions leads or would lead to success for each character. So there's your lesson, right, in obedience. If Orpheus had followed Hades' condition, he would have been reunited with Eurydice in life instead of death. If Icarus had followed directions, he would have escaped and lived a life free from King Minos' anger. So the lesson that um, this essay would have been focusing on is obedience or following directions, right? And so I'm talking about how they're similar. First, they start generally, right? The characters are given instructions and following those instructions would lead to success. So that's how they're similar in general. And then I say specifically in each myth, how this is true, right? So Orpheus was given instructions and he would have been successful because he would have been reunited with Eurydice. Then I deal with the second myth. Icarus was given directions and if he'd followed them, he would have lived. So I do the general first, then in one sentence saying how the first myth meets this and then the one sentence in how the second myth meets this, the way that they are similar. And then I'm going to conclude in both myths, the failure of the characters reveals the lesson to the readers. So I'm taking us back to and remembering what the writing prompt is here, right? Um, and how the lesson was revealed to the leaders. So it was the failure of the characters and that's how they were similar, right? So I'm clarifying here my concluding statement. And then my clincher, the failure of each character is a mirror that reflects the lesson to the reader. So that's figurative language, right? It's a metaphor, the failure's a mirror, right? That reflects. So that's a uh, using a figurative language clincher. The other way you can write your conclusion is to focus on the differences, right? If you're gonna focus on the differences, you wanna start off by saying how the authors developed the lessons differently what different techniques did they use in the mess? So instead of focusing on similar, we're gonna focus on different techniques and then write your clincher. So if we look at my example, okay. While both the myths have lessons related to obedience, right, because that's why I picked them, they are similar and they have the same lesson, the lessons revealed differently through the characters. So that first sentence just tells the reader that my conclusion is gonna focus on how they're different, okay. Um, then I'm going to talk about each myth in the labors of Hercules, Hercules' obedience to the oracle, and King Eurystheus earn, rewards him with purification and immortality, right? So I'm focusing on the lesson of obedience and what the result of his experience was, okay? It, he was obedient, so therefore he's rewarded. 
and Orpheus, a great musician, Orpheus' disobedience and failure to meet Hades' condition leads to his misery and death. So it's kind of a wrap up of this myth, right? And as opposed to Hercules where he was obedient and we learned the lesson and with Orpheus he was disobedient and we learned the consequence, right? The actions of the characters reveal the ultimate lesson that the obedient that obedience is rewarded and disobedience is punished. So in both myths the lesson was about obedience and one we learned obedience is rewarded and the other we learned that disobedience is punished. So <clears throat> This is how the two stories were different from each other in this lesson. And again, I'm going to wrap it up with a clincher. Like the characters in the mess, people today still learn the, this lesson. And so that's a strong statement about the lesson, okay? That it's still a relevant lesson to, for us today. So if we go back, just again, there are four ways to do a clincher. You can use figurative language. You can use strong feelings or emotions. Okay, so this was my first example on similarities, my second example on differences. You can use a quote. Um, I think this one would be kind of tough uh, because it's hard to find a quote that would, when you're comparing text, it's hard to find a quote that works for both stories. So if you were just writing about one source, one story, then this works a little bit better. But if you are using multiple stories to write your essay, then it doesn't work as well. Um, you could do a warning about what would happen if the situation doesn't change. So without integrity, life would be full of chaos and trouble. Again, this one works better for certain writing prompts than others. Um, you could do it with this one, you know. Um, if, you know, lessons are not learned, you know, there are, you know, uh, tremendous consequences to pay or something like that. So. Um, you, you know, you could do it. Again, it's probably not as easy as these first two because um, it has to be general enough to work with both the myths that you chose. Okay, so these are the four ways to do a clincher. And if you have any questions specifically about this, please ask me. I'm happy to um, help you with that. Just remember, you should never, ever end with a question.